Hi, welcome back to Spice and Easy. Now, we've got a different playlist that we're starting. It's going to be vegetarian stroke vegan. Uh, there'll be vegetarian recipes, which if you know what you're doing, if you're vegan, you can turn them into vegan dishes. Yeah, adapt them. It's not all going to be our packs. We are doing one today. We're going to show you medium curry, but it's not the pack that we're going to put in the spice kit playlist. We're adapting it to show you how you can adapt these to make vegetarian dishes. And also, it won't be just packs. There'll be vegetarian recipes, vegan recipes. What? You're doing those. <laughs> Wish me luck. Coffee. Yes. It's not about me. It is hot though. So, as I've said before, try not to burp. Yeah. The packs are all vegetarian, vegan friendly packs. So, you can adapt them, adapt them, adapt them. Yeah, adapt. <laughs> Get my words out to your own taste. You can use them for different things apart from what it's telling you to do. Hence the medium curry, which we'll put on the spice kit playlist, will be with chicken. We're actually using it today to make a different curry, which is going to be... Chickpeas, uh, lentils and spinach. I actually remembered. I did. Do you um, want to do it now? Bye! Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, that's... The packs we're going to adapt to do different ways. I know somebody's already asked me on the Facebook group to do the Rogan Josh uh, to see what we put in that for a vegetarian Rogan Josh. So we'll be doing that one. That's probably this week or it's Moroccan stew, one of the two. You can do the Rogan um, Josh. Obviously for that, if you're vegan, I've not looked into it, but there must be, you probably know, a vegan alternative to yoghurt for that one. There must be, there's cheese, so there's got to be. If you know... Drop a comment. I'm pretty sure that Alpro yogurt you can get is vegan. I don't friendly. know. We'd have to look into it. Um, but you can let us know on that. Drop it. If you're not already in the group or like the Facebook page, do that and send us a message to let us know options that you know you can use. Because we're not vegetarian or vegan. You're about 90% vegetarian, aren't you? Yeah. And I'm 90% the other way. Carnivore. <laughs> Uh, but I do like some veggie stuff, but a lot of veggies don't like me, so we won't go into that. Um, <laughs> it's not. So today, we're going to do medium curry. That's a quick intro, or a waffling on intro, into the playlist. You will be seeing less of me on this playlist. Don't cry. I'm not going anywhere. I can't believe you're yeah. leaving me in charge when you're always moaning about my cooking. Well, you can cry, because it means you're going to see more of her. Um, but yeah, she's going to do most or a lot of the veggie stuff. Because I don't like cooking veggie. I can, but I have put meat in it. <laughs> it's not <laughs> veggie then. <laughs> but yeah, so we're doing this one tonight. And then the recipes where we're using the spice packs, it will be both of us or just you. And other recipes not including the spice packs, one you're working on at the minute is... Uh, dough. So it's bagels. Dough. 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 That you can make into anything, flatbreads, bagels, etc. That's gluten free. Uh, gluten free, and it's made with yogurt, so you might even be able to do that as a. It's a vegan as one. As a vegan one as well. Yeah, that's something we're working on. The first episode of that, well, not episode, but the first attempt of that last night. And I tell you now, this morning, the dog loved them. Oh, it really you? did. But it was a bit crunchy. <laughs> But yeah, so that's enough of that. We're going to get on, we're going to cook this. She's going to cook this. I'm going to watch and pick fault. Yeah, nothing new there. Medium curry, but it's not medium curry. It's going to be using medium curry to make a vegetarian curry. Well, kind of, yeah. And it can be used as a side dish or as a main dish if you pile your plates up. Um, but if you don't, you can just put it in small bowls, dish it out to everyone as a side dish. With a chicken curry. Yes, yeah. let's go then. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Okay, I've been chopping like a fiend. And we have a medium or large onion, very finely chopped. 60 mils of cooking oil, but I'm using the elder rapeseed spray instead. A can of chickpeas in water if you can. 
Um, same with the green lentils, but you can use um, standard green lentils, but cook them how they're supposed to be as per the instruction, but go for the quantity that's in a can. By rights, Indians do use red lentils for dishes like this, but obviously because it's easier, they're already pre-cooked in a can, so we've got the can. But if you're using dried lentils, use red lentils. Back to me. 40 grams of tomato puree. <laughs> that rumbling outside, I think it's thundering again. A lot of traffic. Um, a spice pack. Obviously, we're using the medium. Uh, one stock cube in 500 mils of boiling water to make it up. That's for your paste and everything. And then we've got around about three handfuls of washed spinach. That's just in the other dish draining. Now your optional, I optional items. It's catching. Coriander. There. And then we've also got chilies. You just knew it. Just to make it to our preference. Or oh. chilies. <laughs> um, I'll crack on with frying the onion and I'll come back to you once we're ready to move on from there. See you in a moment. Hi, welcome back. As you can see, the onions are softening nicely. Just going to pop the chilies in because I forgot. Chilies! Mustn't leave any behind. Yeah, what's that in your hand? Spoonie! Yes, <laughs> spoonie! Just give that a couple of minutes extra just to let the chilies wilt a little bit. I think Spoonie should have his own show. Take mine. <laughs> he is doing all the work. Pop a touch more oil in there just to make sure we don't skip. Oh, I might turn that down a little bit. It sounds like it's sitting a little too much. Turn it off this time. No, no, I'm getting better. Alright, the chilies are going to be a little bit. We'll move on and have the spice pack. Of water. You're looking to get that paste and the glaze. Glaze. And you don't have it turned up too high at this point, do you? Turn it down. And why is that? Because I can see your finger going like this. <laughs> because? You'll burn the spices. The spices will burn. Oh, jeez. You can't even get the cat trays, let alone anyone else. different instructions what we're doing here with what the pack is the medium curry is you use a tin of chopped tomatoes for that for the curry because this is vegetarian you don't want too much tomato so we're using the stock the main thing. God forbid we have something to moan about. Okay, it's coming along nicely. Smell it. It's like my nose twitch. Yeah, I might need to sneeze. It's only medium. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> enough for you? Yeah, that, that will do. You're not going to get it as much because you're using the spray oil rather than the 60 mils. So this is actually low fat as well. Yeah. Right, let's get the 
Yeah. Low fat, vegetarian, and tasty all in one dish. Oh, yes. This is less tomato puree than normal, isn't it? As well. Is it getting up your nose, <laughs> me duck? Back of my throat. <coughs> hmm? Blend that in nicely if you have to get the bitterness out. Now that looks completely different to when you start, when you first put the spice back in. The difference in colour. Mm. What do you say? It's not as red as it looks. No, it's never as bright as it looks on the camera. When I was little, I used to have toast with tomato puree. In. But you're disgusting. It's nice. But then I like bread, butter. <coughs> I'm trying not to cough. Bread, butter, tomato sauce, and vinegar sandwiches. Oh, they're awesome. Ready to pop the lentils in? Don't leave any behind. Right, I'm going to stir them in to try and get them coated in the spice before I put the chickpeas in as well. Not too hard, otherwise they'll be mush. So, in go the chickpeas. You know what, before I stir this, I'm going to put a touch of the stock in just to loosen up a bit so I don't damage it. That's better. This would be nice with whole button mushrooms in as well. And bacon. No! <laughs> Baby corns. Thing where else you could put in cherry tomato right at the end. There's probably enough in here to do six people once we're finished. Camera went school with because I was trying to get something out of the cupboard. Not some, something, something out of the cupboard. Right, so that's everything in all apart from the additions. And we're holding off on the um, spinach until just before, but we'll come back to that for them. I'm not going to put the salt in until we get near the end and taste the stock cubes too salty. So for now, I'm going to let that simmer till we get to the right consistency and I will come back to you soon. So we're back, 15 minutes later. It's been simmering away nicely. I have added a touch of salt, so that stock, the stock cube actually says no salt, but I never believe them. But yes, it was no salt, so I've added a touch of that. And I have noticed you do need to stir quite frequently because it does tend to, the lentils sink and tend to stick. If you're doing this for a side dish, you perhaps don't want to simmer it quite so long, so I'd use perhaps 350ml of stock instead. You'll still end up with the same results, but it just won't be quite so wet. We're having this as a main meal. So now I'm ready to add the spinach and let's go for it. Stir that in first before I go to the next bit. The spinach is baby leaf, yeah? Yeah, from Lidl's. But if you obviously Indians normally use the proper spinach that looks like dark green cabbage uh, which has got too. yeah it's got a lot stronger taste so if you don't like the strong earthiness of spinach then use this baby leaf because it's a bit more subtle flavour. You can see that's slightly starting to wilt now let's get the rest in. It's been washed so this is going to add a little bit of liquid to the sauce anyway so I will need to simmer it again. 
really well just for it to reduce again. Topping it all in with try not to squish up the lentils. That's a new word for you, squish. I guess you didn't get your lid out of the saucepan. <laughs> what you meant, tater masher? Well, no, that's going to break everything. Tater masher. <laughs> right, so that's all covered, and I'm guessing from that Morse code we need to pop the lid on while we simmer so it. So you say grass and glass, but instead of potato masher, you say tater masher. It's easier. I've got that as quietly as I can. <laughs> Multilingual. Yep. I can speak Polish and I can speak gibberish. <laughs> yeah, but you understand it, that's the worst. Just wait till you and Terry get together. Nobody can understand you. We do. It's all that matters. So that's everything in, apart from the coriander, which I'll put in just before we serve. So I'm going to pop the lid back on now and let this simmer a little, just while the rice finishes off. I'll come back to you in a few. So we're back again. It's had another eight minutes just thickening up and you can hear where it's slightly sticking to the bottom which means it's just the right consistency. So let's pop the coriander in. It's quite a lot here but it's down to taste. Coriander! I like it, it makes it taste fresh. Especially when you've got more vegetables and no meat. couple of minutes just to walk that through and then we're done. So all in all that's taken half an hour or so. 25 minutes actual cook time for simmer. That's quicker than your takeaway. And healthier. Oh definitely. Spot the oil sitting on top. None. as you say. There we have it. <laughs> bye bye Spoonie. There goes Spoonie. Spoonie. Spoonie's big brother. Pop a little bit in here just for taste purposes. As you can see it's quite runny but that's how we prefer it you know so it can coat the rice. But a side dish you'd have it drier than that and that's hot and you splodged ah, bit for me <laughs> Sweet, yeah? that's it medium curry vegetarian version steaming hot final thoughts for our 25 minute vegetarian curry weeknight screaming kids Let's try it. <laughs> mm. mm. I personally would have it hotter, but other than that, it's lovely. It's nice. It's For one that we've not done before, somebody likes the smell of it, <laughs> likes the smell of it. Somebody like, yeah, that's right, isn't it? Like it yes. smell, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, not bad at all. Um, variations on it, rather than the yellow chickpea, yeah, yeah. Yellow, chickpeas. yellow chickpeas, you can use what's called Carla Chana if you can get them. They're a bit smaller and they're like a wholemeal chickpea, and we prefer those than, those than these. I can't talk. Yes, but if you can't get them, yellow ones will be just fine. But the Carla China have got a more wholemeal taste to them and they're a bit firmer, a bit yeah, more they're, texture they're more to robust, them. Aren't they? um, you could put paneer in it, which would be nice with the spinach. It wouldn't be vegan. 
No, but it's vegetarian. <laughs> yeah. Um, other things, it mushrooms. Also, it, also, it wouldn't be low fat with paneer because no. paneer is very high in fat. But not everything has to be low fat just because it's vegetarian. No, no, it don't. But I like it to be both. But I like <laughs> my cheese. I do your cheese separately uh, <laughs> and sprinkle it on top. Uh, you could put carrots in it. Green beans would be good. Yeah, fine green beans and okra. Oh, love okra. Mm -hmm. um, anything, Actually, basically. What we've done is we've used the medium curry fat. We've never made this before. This is one we've just made up off the cuff and started recording. Um, it does work. If you can hear a clatter, cluttering, clanging, whatever noise. He's now gone back in there, but he's scratching about trying to find bones because he's bored. And... That's about all we can say on that one. It is nice. I'll have another it's bit just to nice. double check. Don't diss it because I cooked it. And it is better with that coriander. Mm. It gives it the fresher taste. But if through. you don't like coriander, it's still nice. Um, I'm trying to think what else you could add to it. But I mean, I, as it is, that's nice. nice and it has thickened really. up now. It's cooled down a bit, so... If you want it as a side dish, and there is quite a few of you, stick to the 500 mils of stop. vegetable stock. If it's only two of you, I'll have to swallow them to stop a burp coming up. Oh. If there's only two of you, cut back to 350 mils of stock, and you still will have some left over. And unless you're having it as a main, which you're going to freeze some anyway, you could freeze, you can freeze chickpeas, can't you? Yeah. And you could freeze it. So... That's about all we can say on that. That's the first recipe on the new veggie stroke vegan stroke she's doing it playlist. And she will get better in the, on the camera. I will. <laughs> You'll get to the point that I she's, don't... She's uh, shy like me. A woman of few words. <laughs> and few but actions. If you, do, if, you do, <laughs> if you do try it, you will enjoy it. And if you do try it, Leave your comments and let us know what you think. And also on the playlist to any of the videos, it don't have to be concerning the one that's recorded. Drop your comments in if you've got any suggestions of things you'd like to see. Uh, a recipe for whatever. If you've got one, oh, I've got some okra. What's the best recipe I can do for it? We'll come up with one for you. We'll try. <laughs> and that's It'll it on this one. one. If you like what you've seen, don't forget to click the thumbs up button so you're liking it. Don't forget to click the notification bell so you're kept up to date with it. And don't forget, if you're not already, subscribe. And that's it from me. And me. See you soon. Signing off. We'll catch you later.